What's up guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Here to bring you an NFL free agency prediction video on newly released pass rusher D Ford. I believe he will sign with the LA Rams. Let's talk about why. So D Ford um released yesterday by the Niners, which we saw coming, you know. He was only 18 games into his new contract. I believe it was four years, 80 plus million. Um, you know, and we saw it coming. He's been pretty injured. Not really great play, more inconsistent than anything last couple of years, you know. So, uh, and also when they drafted Jake, uh, Drake Jackson in the NFL draft, you know, rumors came out since rookie minicamp uh, about a month or two ago that, you know, the Niners expect a lot from him, you know. So, the right was on the wall for a while now. Uh, the Niners saved $1.2 million, so not a lot of money to get him off the books. But uh, he is off. He is a free agent now. And he should have multiple suitors. But as we see with normally with, with good players, um, they always tend to stay in the division. One, to spurn their old team. They, they get to play them twice a year. And two, you know, no, most divisions have at least one contender in them. You know, and the, the NC West has at least two outside, outside of the 49ers. But I believe all three teams could use D4 services. Uh, when he's healthy, he's a good good pass rusher, very good pass rusher. You know, that contract, that definitely wasn't bogus. You know, for his career, he has about 40, I think, yeah, I think right at 40 sacks for, uh, for his career. So, you know, that contract wasn't a bogus contract. He definitely did deserve that money, in my personal opinion. But I believe in this in this prediction video, uh, which I'm doing now, I, I do believe the Rams do get richer. Uh, I've been saying since... I think, yeah, since before the Bobby Wagner move. Well, yeah, because before Bobby Wagner, Von Miller left. He went to the Bills. So since uh, the Von Miller move, I've been saying they need pass rusher. You know, and when they signed Wagner, I made a video uh, saying and asking Rams fans, should they have kept Miller and broke the bank for him? Or should they have wanted to keep Wagner and strengthen the middle linebacker spot, which hasn't been strong in the last couple of years? So, you know, uh, they answered. They said they, they wanted Wagner, which I was confused. I definitely would have chose Von Miller. But this neither here nor there. They have Wagner now. Uh, what, five-year deal, $50 million. But uh, I've still been making videos or been saying in other videos that the Rams need help pass rushing. You know, uh, they, right now they only have Leonard Floyd as their best pass rusher. Um, and they paired him up with four-year pro Justin Hollins. Uh, pretty solid guy, versatile guy. But he only has, like, I believe a handful of sacks in two years. You know, so that's not really going to cut it, in my personal opinion. You know, uh, D4, and and just I don't think D4 will be a monster with the Rams, but he will add to the rotation of Floyd, Hollins, and, you know, if he brought in Ford, uh, Ford it will be Ford. You know, so I think he'll be a good, a good ro rotational piece. I wouldn't rely on him that much to be like a Von Miller type of guy because when Von Miller turned up, it, it, it was a wrap, and I don't think D4 has that in him still, to be honest. He's good, but he's not. he was never confused to be Von Miller, you know, on Von Miller's level. But he was definitely good, though. So if you can get a healthy D4, that will be great. I wouldn't count on it. I just would want him to be in, in the rotation with Hollins and with Floyd. Um, but so, yeah, I, I think the Rams do land him. It makes sense. They're the reigning, defending Super Bowl champions. And also, they have a need for him. So, you know, and also, he, um, um, uh, he'll he be cheap. It'll be low risk, high reward. Um, and on, on to another player as well that they're, on, they're, in, they're in the mix for, uh, Robert Quinn. You know, if you want Robert Quinn from the Chicago Bears, you're going to have to give up probably a second, third round pick at best. You know, um, uh, or at the least, excuse me. <laughs> um, and, you know, four will be free. You don't give you don't have to give up no more picks. You can just go ahead, uh, bring Ford in, probably for the cheap, on a one year prove it deal. Show show me that that you can be healthy. Show me you can get in the locker room, which never been a problem in the locker room really. But but just show me you, you you can be healthy for this entire year. Put up decent numbers on a title contending team, and then back on the market next year, off you go. You know I don't think it'd be a long term deal. So you know to me this is the best fit, if not the Rams. I think he stays in the, in, in the division as well. My second option, well, not second option, but no, just in case the Rams don't land him, if I were to pick any other team to get him, it would be the Cardinals. 
I think the Cardinals are the most desperate, to be honest. Uh, I did a prediction video on them landing Robert Quinn. As of right now, uh, Robert Quinn is staying with, the, uh, staying with the Chicago Bears from where everything is being you know, said in, in the reports and, and, and things. So uh, if Robert Quinn does stays, I think they're very, very, the Cardinals will be very, very pressed to get um, D4. As I said earlier, Quinn would cost at least a second or third round pick. Um, and four, four would be r relatively free, you know. But as of right now, the Cardinals have no real pass rushing threat. Um, Chandler Jones left. He went to the Raiders. Um, they didn't land Zadarius Smith or anything, anything um, like that. They drafted two young rookies, uh, Maja Sanders, and I forgot the other guy's name. And they also have Marcus Golden, who's been pretty solid his whole career. He, he's definitely a, 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 a vet now. Been around the league for a while now, put up some decent numbers, but he's nothing special. You know, I like I, li I like Golden. Uh, he, sh he should be part of a good rotation, but he's sh not really starter material still, in my personal opinion. I think bringing uh, you bring in Ford to start, and as I said, starting doesn't really matter who starts or not. So Golden could start, Ford could start, the rookies could, could start. It don't really matter. But as long as you have a good rotation going on, everyone getting some good work in, some good time in, you know, I think that's what's needed um, right now. Most teams aren't giving out just one pass rusher every play. You know, you're going to get a, a nice dose of rotation, and the Cardinals definitely need that uh, with their two young rookies. What's the other guy's name, man? It's slipping my mind. Maja Sanders, uh, Cameron Thomas from San Diego State. Cameron, Th Cameron Thomas and Maja Sanders are the two rookies that, that, that they brought in. And, um, you know, bring him in. Bring in Ford, pair him up with uh, Goldston. Those are two vets. Then you have the two young guys. And make it work. Just make it work, man. Because without Chandler Jones, um, you know, and not trading for Robert Quinn, I think, you know, Ford would be the best option there. Uh, another option I like a lot, I did a video on it yesterday, and it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I did a video on the Steelers. Uh, they're my third alternative, or my second alternative team, but my third option. And that's the Steelers. Uh, I did a video on them yesterday, actually, trade a prediction video on them trading for uh, D tackle uh, Deron Payne from the Commanders. You know, I think that that's a need there. They have two older defensive tackles, Cameron Hayward, 33, Tyson Lulu, 35. I'm like, okay, they need some influx of new talent in the inside soon. You know, uh, Stefan Tuitt, he retired abruptly, you know, um, so. I'm thinking they add him. If not, they can add him um, D Ford because I said in, in, in that video. Yeah, come on. 